Hey Tigers. So I'm Mrs. LaMonaco. I'm an assistant principal at Pickerington Central. And today I want to talk to you about our student handbook and code of conduct. The first thing I want to talk to you about is where you can find this document. You can find it on the Pickerington Local School District webpage. On the homepage, there's at the top, there's a search bar. And if you type in handbook or code of conduct, then you will, um, it'll take you right to it. And you click on high school and junior high handbook. Or right underneath the search bar on the PLSD webpage, you can um, click on academics and within academics, you will find the handbooks. And again, you want to go to the junior high and high school handbook and code of conduct. So I want to tell you that this document is really important because it provides you with a lot of information about things that you're responsible for while you're in school at Pickerington Local Schools. I not only um, printed off because I'm, you know, an assistant principal, but I also printed off because my boys attend Pickerington schools and we talk about it. And because it's really important that you as students understand um, certain expectations of the district. So I want to go through a few of these with you. And if you don't, I'm going to backtrack. If you don't want to print it, bookmark it so you can refer to it because it is a super important document. So it, it starts with academic integrity. It gives you a definition of what that is. And then it also gives you definitions and examples like cheating, plagiarism, forgery, stealing. It goes into then Pickerington Local School District's acceptable use program or policy. And essentially what that is about is technology. So I want you to remember that your device that is issued by PLSD, whether it's an iPad or a Chromebook, does not belong to you. Everything that you search, um, write about, chat about, have documents about, PLSD can and does monitor it. So please be aware that anything on that device is subject for monitoring and that consequences can be handed down if you are doing something inappropriate on the Chromebook. Um, it also talks about both activities such as like mock trial, the plays, esports, robotics, things like that, as well as athletics, what your GPA has to be in order to take um, to participate in those clubs and activities. Also for athletes, there's also a student code of conduct and that's, or an athletic code of conduct. And that's really important to know that what is in there in the athletic code of conduct applies to athletes 24 seven, 365, meaning all year long, even if you only play a sp fall sport or if you only play a spring sport, you are held to a standard, not just when you're in season, but all year long. So you want to make sure that you're aware of both, if you're an athlete of that as well. There's also information if, if we have inclement weather um, or power outages or anything like that, where you look to find information about school and what's going to happen. There's information about dress code, what's appropriate, not appropriate to wear. And that's really important that you check that out as well. If you get hurt and you need crutches or wheelchair and you need to use the elevator at school there's information on that in the handbook there's also information about the commons which is our cafeteria and just so you know you cannot bring in food from the outside that's hot like so for dinner if you have I don't know, canes for dinner and you didn't eat at all or McDonald's and you didn't eat at all you can bring the rest of that for lunch but you can't have mom or dad or grandma and grandpa or Uncle Joe or Aunt Sally bring you in hot food. And you can't order DoorDash or Grubhub and have them deliver it. We will not allow it to come through. It will stay in the office. At the end of the day, you can come pick it up. But otherwise, you have to either pack your lunch or you have to buy hot food from the cafeteria. 
There is information about the grading scale, grading policy, as well as graduation requirements in here. As you continue to go on through this information, you'll find um, things about school counseling services, safety drills, school sponsored events, searches, you know, what is the law on the schools performing searches on someone, study halls, suspensions, visitors, and much more. As you, there's also information about the attendance policy, attendance policy and transportation. Finally, at the end of it, starting on page 30, is the student code of conduct. And in this, what I like about it is it breaks down anything you could possibly get in trouble for at school to receive discipline for. So you want to look at all of these things. It's from page 30 to 39, actually like 38, and look through it and make sure you understand it. This, this is something you truly need to check out. The school um, handbook and code of student code of conduct. Again, it can be found on the school's website. If you search it, search those words, the handbook or code of conduct, or go to acad academics and you'll find it right in that list. Have a great day. Let us know if you need anything. We're here for you. You've got this, Tigers.